You may have seen the rankings of season one, and today is Barry Manchild's birthday, so it's time to rank season two. At number 12, we have Australian Greetings episode 10. This video was very similar to Bro Mate Dude. What's up? Oi, oi. Hey, guys. And again, it's a very good introduction to Barry Manchild. I think this one's even better because it's solely focused on what Australians say. I just feel like doing it again kind of brings it down a bit. Number 11, Heavy Metal Nursery Rhymes, Episode 4. It's in the title what this is. It's literally just Barry Manchild putting heavy metal themes onto nursery rhymes. And while this is good, it's been done many of times before, and honestly, I would say that it's nothing new, if that makes sense. Uh, but really still a lot of fun. At number 10, we have Byron Bay's Easter Episode 2. This video brings Uncle Barry in the Easter Bunny costume again, and he's talking to a Byron Bay kind of really rich gay guy. He's so cute, Uncle Barry. And he is basically making fun of Uncle Barry and saying he can't afford to live in Byron. I know you're not from Byron, you couldn't afford it here anyway. And he's also making him tell random stories about things. While he was waiting for the cash from the teller, he used to heat up a pie in the microwave. I mean, how Australians are, mate. This video was pretty funny, I just feel like it's not quite my sense of humour. Number 9, Conflict Resolution, Episode 1. This involves Bogan and Andy going through a guided meditation with Thomas, who has come back from Season 1 with his new mate. This is a really good sketch, and I love the fighting and bickering between the two friends. I'm here because, you know, we can't sort it out, mate. He's bloody lazy, he does nothing around the house. Bro! He's always busting my balls. But honestly, it is ranked a lot lower, but we will see Thomas and his friend coming back up again later in these rankings. This is ranked number nine for an obvious reason. Remember, start with I feel. I feel like. This is ranked number nine for an obvious reason. And if you don't agree with me, I feel like you should just go watch the video and see for yourself. Number eight is Meow Meow, meow Kitty Kitty Meow Meow, meow, meow. Episode meow, eleven. Meow, you, you, meow, meow. This was a music video involving me, Jordan, and Alex, alongside Barry, and we were basically making fun of boy bands and their dance moves. And the video would kind of like cut in between us and the cats. This was the most viewed video, but that doesn't necessarily mean it's the best. Number seven, I love the sausage wiener. Episode eight. Even though I love the big wiener. So you like the larger wiener sausage? Yeah? This episode is ranked seven because it's obviously just, it's just a good sketch, but overall that had fun characters. It was a good use of the green screen and this is well executed in the few days he did make this episode. Yeah, danke schön. Number six, the drunken Christmas special episode 12. This video was Uncle Barry getting drunk on one to his speech again. Yeah, I'm just to get up and say a few words, I and it brings back Billy, Barry and Benny from the film and Billy and Benny both want Uncle Barry to do his speech and no one else does yeah. Uncle Barry, you doing your speech again? Oh, hey Billy, yeah, <laughs> sort of time <laughs> you would yes. Every bloody year Barry you get up to do your freaking talk He cut out the bit with his speech and like all the other characters so that kind of broke it down a bit for me Also, we, we filmed it in like one kind of take so we were constantly switching in between and it kind of punches in and that makes it a bit awkward but it was a lot of fun to make at the same time number five is baked as bro episode three so this is tomo getting into brad's special cookies that he finds in the tin and this is him going through the seven stages of being high yeah bro he gets like all spacey and stuff and then he, and then he gets the munchies and it's like the best foods ever eaten in his life stage one you're just gonna start feeling a little bit spacey yeah, Brad, I'm feeling a bit loose now, eh? Stage <laughs> five, the munchies. Food will taste better than it's ever tasted before. <laughs> You'll be surprised what you want to eat, bro. It wouldn't be a Barry Manchild sketch without a couple of onesies in the video as That's well. That's true. Mm -hmm. It is the signature to a good Barry Manchild sketch. And this was actually anything from like one to five was the hardest to rank, and I want everyone to know that. I feel like this one was kind of low for me because I, I've i never been high so it's like I, obviously I, I know the stereotype and the jokes but it's like it's not as relatable to me as some of the other ones.
Number four, the better version of me, episode nine. This is another music video, and honestly, it, it's very funny. It features his mum, and he's basically making fun of himself and like singing about people that are better than him. And it's really cool how he like puts himself in there, and you can see four of them at one time sometimes. But it's weird because the, the green screen, you know, it comes through and you can like, it, it like affects his mouth and eyes in some shots. And also, I feel like this video dragged it a little long, and that's why it wasn't ranked higher. But honestly, this is the best music video I think he has made of the year. Barryman, child affordable real estate just for Pavel. At number three, affordable real estate, episode five. This is by far, I love the sketches and honestly, I love the first one, especially. I think affordable real estate is just such a good idea and I love the fact that you're just bashing how like the cheap real estate in certain areas are just downright awful. This is a really good sequel to the first episode which was about something a bus stop. This open plan, artistic, airy villa is just a steal for the price. Eh? Yeah, because it's a bus stop. And this one's about selling a garage. It's not a one bedroom villa, it's not a chalet. It's a garage. Uncle Barry's there just being like, oh mate, what are you talking about? This is just a garage or this is just a bus stop. And also there's, there's a cockatoo who's insulting Barry Manchild, which I think is hilarious. Barry Manchild, Mark Witt. This amazing thing will open and close. Mate, it's a cupboard. <laughs> <laughs> Number two, good old Shifty Barry episode seven. This video is of Uncle Barry in court and we actually learn what his full name is. Barry Bernard Winston Manchild III. This episode really sums up Uncle Barry's personality because he's a dodgy criminal, but he's a really honest guy and he admits to everything. Sergeant Sunshine claims to have seen you jump over your neighbor's fence with a cannabis plant in your hand. Oh yeah, no, we always do cutsies over the neighbor's fence, you know? I really like uh, the Elvis person. I ain't seen nothing. Across the way. When there's a bunch of creative names too. Shifty Pete. Pansy McGonagall. And Bandana George. Sly Dude, also known as Mr. Sussman. Chooker. Old Mate Bazza. And this video was a sequel to... Number one, Getting on the Sauce Sarge, episode six. This video is of Uncle Barry getting pulled over by the cops and he just tells Sergeant Sunshine everything he's done. So you're admitting to consuming alcohol and cannabis? Oh, a couple, couple coolies, a couple hotties, you know. And this is honestly the best Barry Manchild episode, I would say, from even season one to season two. I would say my favorite is still a lumping title as an adult, but that's just me. And this is by far the most Barry Manchild episode, if that makes sense. Like, I feel so strongly that Barry Manchild was actually in the situation for once. Be a old white pony, you know, a couple of shrooms, you know, a bit of half an eggy, you know, yeah. And I'd like to see more sketches like this, honestly, where we see Uncle Barry in a similar light. This brought in like the two most iconic Barry Manchild characters, and I think that worked really well in the, in the show, and that's why this is number one. Anyway, that's our ranking for Barry Manchild season two. Check out Barry Manchild over there, or click on Alex's face to check out his channel, subscribe to this channel, and we'll, I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys. Bye. At number 12, we have Christmas, Christmas greetings. Fuck. At number 12, we have Christmas greetings. Fuck, why do I keep calling it that? <laughs> number 10. <laughs> This video brings Uncle Barry, uh, Uncle Barry. Episode number eight is Meow Meow. meow yeah. We basically just did uh, da, 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 shit in front of a green screen. <laughs> number seven, I love the sausage wiener. Episode eight. Yeah, I do love the big wieners. <laughs> Which I assume is the reason you wanted me here for another gay joke. Come on, mate. Um, but anyway, <laughs> so we brought back Barry, Barry and Erzy. I don't know how to pronounce his name. Barry Mundi, Barry, Barry and Erzy, Barry Nancy. Uncle Barry in court, and it's hilarious because we actually find like his full name in this video, and it's basically him just. Um... How do I say this? I think this was actually a sequel to the the first ranked one. 
Like, because this is him dealing with the charges of, like, a van that he's stolen. Oh my gosh, it is too, right. Hold on. Yeah, wow. Number five. Bay has... How did I say number five? Number five. I said number five. I added a D for some reason. I always got to include the D somehow. Um. (laughs) I think it was really good how he brought in two of the classic Uncle Barry characters and that was all you saw. Which, uh, did I say Uncle Barry characters? I did, didn't I? Yeah. Yeah, okay. 